Hi, so here we are at um, Cycler Park. The uh, juniors have just finished all their races, so I was just trying to make my way onto the track. So I thought I'd film a little bit of just uh, the hubbub and the atmosphere. Um, yeah, it made half a lap. And then it was the rolling. Just warming up. I've done half a lap. Um, that's all we could get on. So I'm hoping um, we can get a whole lap before the race. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a laugh, voyage of discovery, and all that. Um, a lot grippier than I thought it's going to be. We had loads of rain this week, but it's still going to be pretty grippy out there. So, a lot of off camber. So, I'm going to try out the new special tubeless tyres. Um, there's right and a half left, I did, no problems. Got a spare bike in case it all goes completely wrong. So, looking forward to it. Feeling alright, etc. etc. Let's go and race. So, it was a long run on tarmac to start with. Uh, which I thought I'd do okay on, but as you can see from the second row, I managed to get myself shuffled quite a way down the field, uh, which wasn't the greatest of starts. And then I compounded this by making a complete cock up, um, bad positioning where we come off on up a big bank, I got held up, and that's why I get off and run around a few people. Um, then I tried to be clever around some tight, twisty corners and just got up and sprinted past probably four or five people um, but then promptly slipped and fell over so um, oh, I got him now. With them even for that so again I apologise I ended up in a bit of a battle with the juniors um, so now the riders coming back towards us so let's count that's the first two let's see what position I came past you in three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13 is the orange. Am I sending you to sleep yet? 14, 15, come on, keep awake. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and there's me, number 22 in the red. So that was a bit of a calamitous first, um, first half a lap there. So this is the end of the first lap, and I managed to get past uh, oh, a few guys, and you can see they're in a, a bit of a bunch behind me trying to take on a back thing, but I put a big old dig up here to get away from them. And I did find some clean track and started to make up time, and I actually put in some quite good lap times. Um, yeah, I'll, I think this is something like about 14th place now. Um, there's one of the juniors, unfortunately, I think he broke a chain. Um, but yeah, I got, got held up behind these guys on the twisty part. So I had to bide my time, you can see I'm getting a bit impatient here because I get really close behind them where it's a bit, a bit silly really because if they have a problem it's just going to bring me down straight away with nowhere to go. So I did back off before the bank just to give myself a little bit of space in case they, they made a cock up of it. Um, yeah, so I managed to get past those two guys. Um, Can we go big again, man? He was head down and see how many places I can pick off. You can see the next guy just coming back right hand side of the screen on the tarmac there so that's my next next target so up into the big ring along here and just give it a good bow up there's quite a gap between you and the next one thanks for that Steve then uh, this is I think lap three or four I'm catching the guy in the black there's Russell. Uh, I've had some good battles with him this season. The last few races he's been beating me by quite oh, a long okay. way. Well that's Russell Short in front of me. So Dad's there giving me some encouragement, telling me I'm catching. Thanks Dad. <laughs> and then uh, yeah this bit uh, we come through a, a bit of a sand pit which was, wasn't too bad. There's a, a nice firm line through there. Uh, and then over some barriers, which this week were only 20 centimetres. Um, no one behind you, Mark, for a long, long way. Bunny hopping them. I didn't even think to try and bunny hop in practice. I just I got off and run, but it's a little bit annoying that I wasn't even thinking sort of tactically like that, that maybe it'd be better to, to bunny hop them. There was a tight hairpin just after the barriers, and it would have been handy to have been properly clipped in to take that a bit quicker. But hey ho, I'm learning all the time. So yeah, again, onto some straight bits, get the gas down, get the power down. Well, not through these corners here, but so I'm catching up with these two now. Uh, this is the end, getting towards the end of the third lap. And uh, Russell, the guy in the black, he ended up fourth place. 
uh, at the end of like the mad dash at the start. He was fourth, I think, in the first corner. But look how quick I catch him up here. And I'm not saying, oh, look how quick I am along the straights. Because I think Russell, he was waiting for me a little bit um, to jump on the wheel, which he did. Uh, so this is up the steps. Um, as you can see, yeah, I caught uh, Mark, the guy in the colourful kit there. I think he, he rolled a tub, which cost him a few seconds. He had to jump off and he managed to flick it back on. Um, so I ended up battling with those two guys um, for, I think, 6th, 7th and 8th place. Um, this was quite a fast uh, bit along here. Um, yeah, so I managed to get up with them, but I ended up finishing in 8th place. I lost a bit of time. I think we got caught by one of the juniors who had a problem and I thought it was someone else coming coming along and it kind of threw me a Not bit. Um, and I wasn't close to these guys as I hoped along the straight and I just couldn't get back on the wheel. So yeah, I ended up eighth place. Um, but it was a race of many faces. So I've got a few pictures here. That's my get up there face. That's my um, concentrated focus race face, which you don't see very often. That's uh, This is a hard effort, but not max effort face. Uh, same again there, really. Uh, what's the next one? Oh, this is my, I'm going to win this race and absolutely kill every Mother Hubbard out there. That was just a nice picture I thought with the sky in the background. Really good shot. And this is my classic close my eyes and hope for the best face. End of race face, which is probably good that you don't see that because it wasn't very pretty. So that was it. I came eighth in the vet 40s, uh, similar tale to the last couple of weeks which is getting a bit frustrating for me in that I didn't get off the line very well, well I got off the line okay this week but I still didn't make a very good start into the first few corners, um, lost places, bad position etc etc, then picked up the pace um, when I got a bit of clear track in front of me, so maybe I need to start training with a group of people to um, see if I can get used to actually riding shoulder to shoulder um, with people and uh, being a bit more astute. I think I need to be a bit more um, aggressive. No, not aggressive isn't the right word, because uh, that would end badly. Um, assertive, I think. Be more assertive from the start and just back myself. So, that was, uh, that's the cycle of park done and dusted. This week's race is uh, a round of the National Trophy at Crawley, which I've entered for. Uh, I've actually managed to pick up a bit of a cold, hence the uh, all the extra clothing here, trying to keep um, trying to keep warm. Um, hopefully, this goes by the end of the week, and I'll race it. But we'll see. So that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and um, don't forget to, to that. Don't forget to subscribe as well, and see you on the next one.